Hello and welcome to LW Kitchen. I'm going to show you my favourite thing to do with smoked salmon. Now I'm not very keen on the texture of smoked salmon so I like to pan fry or I like to marinate it and I'm going to do a gin and lemon marinade. So what you need first of all is to get yourself a jam jar or a small kilma jar and then into that you want to put some chopped shallot or red onion, some chopped herbs, um, fennel is quite nice but um, not everybody likes fennel or um, dill so if it's not really your thing just some um, chopped chives, these are out in my garden sort of coming towards the end of them now, you know, or even chopped parsley would be great. Lemon thyme would be nice, so that goes into the jam jar. What a mess, Les. Now the gin. What a great noise. So I'd say probably for about four people. One, two, oh, four. Okay, of gin. And I just use a London dry gin for this. And then you want to put, add your extra virgin olive oil. In that goes. This is the most difficult bit of this recipe. It's just, it's so easy. Lemon. So put a few lemon pills in there. It's like making a cocktail. And then loads of black pepper. And that's it. Then it's like, put the lid on. I'm not gonna put any salt in at the moment because smoked salmon is quite salty, so you don't need to worry. And now I'm gonna taste it. I think probably I'm gonna need to put just a little, <laughs> notice the size of the spoon I'm using. What? Squeeze the lemon juice. I mean, you can do this with orange if you want to. Um, I would change maybe, and use vodka, perhaps if you were doing this with, with orange. So lemon going in, and I'm gonna add just a touch more, and I think that that will be ready. So, now if I'm really honest, it's probably best not to use the best quality salmon for this. So, you know, if you've got something that's on offer. We're going to serve this with beetroot later on. I don't want you to turn your nose off if you don't like beetroot because this is a fantastic dish and you're going to love it. Of course avocado goes well with it as well. So just take your salmon and place it on your plate like that just so that you can just cover it with that dressing that you've made. A tiny little bit there. Give it another shake, get yourself a spoon, and then nice, just drizzle over like that. Oh, drizzle, it's rather nigella, I think. Just drizzle that over your salmon, like that. Don't worry if the little lemon pills go on, it doesn't matter. It kind of just tells the story. This will feed about, feed about four people for a starter because it's quite rich. Finish off with a little bit of black pepper over the top. Okay, so this is now ready to serve. It's had about 20 minutes just sitting there, sort of taking in all those flavours. So get yourself a small frying pan or a medium sized one and pop in some unsalted butter and we're going to now do the most delicious thing with beetroot. This is beetroot, raw beetroot, which I've peeled and grated on the um, coarse part of the grater. And into the pan now, I'm going to put the beetroot. And I'm just gonna stir fry it in the butter. Why do chefs do this? show off because you actually don't have to cross it at all you can just move it around in the pan i'm using unsalted butter because it tends not to burn so easily if you wanted to you could just use rapeseed oil or olive oil 
So all I'm doing is, I'm not cooking it because this is raw. All I'm doing is just heating the beetroot through. Please excuse the colour of my hands, which are now very, very pink. So to serve with this, it's very, very simple. We've got some sour cream, which I've put some cracked black pepper into, and also any bread that you like, but I love black rye and rye bread. So this is wheat free, it's not gluten free. And you can find this sort of bread, it's very sort of Scandinavian and German in the supermarkets, it's all over the place now, and it goes brilliantly with these flavours. The last thing I'm going to do is just to add a little squeeze of lemon. You could put balsamic in if you wanted to. I think it would be too strong though. A little bit of lemon. Lots and lots and lots. Oh, it's a pip there. Let's get rid of that. Lots and lots of black pepper going in there. And that's it. Now, this beetroot isn't just good served with um, salmon. Fantastic served with... Um, Scrambled eggs, ham, um, mackerel, smoked mackerel. You serve this two different ways. Number one is slightly more um, rustic. So say you've got friends coming round. What you could do is just take your platter, your sour cream and your beetroot. And it's a nice little dish. If you want to do something a bit more sophisticated, what I would do is just take your beetroot. So by the time you get it on all the plates, it'll be just slightly warm, which is what you want. And then pile that onto there like that. And then take your salmon, which you've got here, and then pile that on the top like so it's very simple don't forget to get some of those wonderful ginny juices which you can just spoon all over the top and around the edge take a little bit of your sour cream and just spoon it on the top rustic or posh choice is